One quadrillion rows. That's how much data Tesla ingested while stress testing ClickHouse. That's one billion rows per second for more than 11 days. But as Tesla's Alan Tao explained at ClickHouse's open house conference, that quadrillion row test wasn't the real story. Tesla's actual challenge isn't just about big numbers. It's about reliability at scale. Across 30 million square feet of factory space, 70,000 employees and millions of connected vehicles worldwide. Every sensor, every production line, every vehicle generates metrics that need real-time monitoring. As Alon put it, Tesla isn't a small operation. They generate a massive amount of metrics and losing these metrics can have actual real-world physical repercussions. With that much on the line, Tesla needed a bulletproof observability system. And they had five requirements for this system. So number one, it had to scale. It needs to be able to handle massive amounts of data in real time. And that amount of data is probably going to increase a lot over time. Number two, availability was non-negotiable. Tesla's operations are too critical for a monitoring system that might go down. Number three, data retention. They need to keep data around for months and even years so that they can spot patterns and predict issues. Number four, flexibility. They want to be able to ask complex questions, run custom analyses, and support a wide range of internal use cases. And finally, number five, it needs to work with PromQL, which is their query language of choice for metrics analysis. They've got a huge library of existing dashboards and alerting rules that they don't want to re-implement. Now, Prometheus seemed like the obvious starting point, but it couldn't be scaled horizontally and had limited ability to scale vertically, which ruled it out. After looking at several tools, they decided to use ClickHouse because of its performance and flexibility. They've gone on to build a system called Comet that has two pipelines. The first one is for ingesting data. So they've got open telemetry collectors sending metrics to a Kafka compatible queue, and then a set of custom ETL processes transform that data into batches of rows to ingest into ClickHouse. And then pipeline number two, on the query side, they translate PromQL into ClickHouse SQL to maintain compatibility with Grafana and their other alerting tools. And as far as anyone else is concerned, it's just a standard Prometheus environment. At the time of the conference talk in May 2025, Comet was ingesting tens of millions of rows per second. And when it comes to time series, Tesla had accumulated tens of billions of them, storing tens of trillions of samples. And they're confident it can scale much further, which is why they stress tested it all the way to that one quadrillion number that we started with. It wasn't about showing off, it was about proving they'd never hit a ceiling. Tesla's observability story shows what's possible with ClickHouse. If you want to see another tech giant's approach, check out this video here where we learn how OpenAI built their observability platform.